So how are you dealing with the whole sheltering in place? For some artists, it's been kind of positive. And from one we'll hear from later, it's been inspiring some new music. And for known introvert, Billie Eilish, as she told a German podcast just the other day, it's been nice. It's Thursday, April 9th, and this is The Current's Music News. Hey, it's Jade. And Jay. So our lead story today hinges on the difference between canceled and postponed indefinitely. It sounds like a semantic distinction, but it's a distinction that could mean thousands of dollars to fans who bought tickets to uh, tours by bands like the Rolling Stones and artists like Elton John. So basically, we recently mentioned a lawsuit involving StubHub, a guy who's suing StubHub saying that their refund policy is not something they're honoring in this situation where the whole concert world is shut down. But as the New York Times reports today, it's not just StubHub. Ticketmaster is also declining to refund many ticket purchases, and customers are increasingly crying foul, saying that they bought tickets under the understanding they could get their money back if the concerts were canceled. Now, StubHub admits that it's changed its policy under the circumstances. Ticketmaster says it's merely changed its language to clarify its policy. What is clear is that neither policy was designed with this kind of scenario in mind. But, you know, fans are also feeling a financial pinch. Many are out of work. And the New York Times reports that the major concert promoters and talent companies are negotiating plans to offer what some called a refund window in coming weeks. It's not confirmed, so stay posted. And unfortunately, I have to bring you uh, some bad news uh, about a very young musician. Hip-hop artist China has died at the age of 25. Uh, now, the rapper, she first rose to fame as a model, uh, but you might know her either from her solo work or from her work with Aesop Mob. Uh, she has millions of streams, just in case you haven't heard of her, uh, blowing up on both SoundCloud and Spotify for songs like Glen Coco and Selfie. Uh, you know, but what's really troubling about this is that this is part of a trend. You know, we don't know the cause of how China died as of right now. But there are a, a good number of these young do-it-yourself artists who've gotten some major fame on SoundCloud and Spotify and then have died well before their time. So this might start some conversations of what is the music industry doing for these young artists to try and support them and um, maybe a in hopes that stuff like this doesn't happen quite so frequently. DJ Franco in my whip, Angelina in my crib. I'm that shit, they don't put home, but not sure it exists. As of late, I've been no geeking, cause that link got me on tip. Well, some good news for Radiohead fans. The band will be adding archival concert footage to their YouTube channel while fans shelter at home to slow the spread of COVID-19. It's actually part of a longer-term project for the band, though. It's a project called the Radiohead Public Library. It's a comprehensive online archive of music, merch, videos, and much more. The latest edition is a 2000 concert film called Live from a Tent in Dublin. That's premiering today, Thursday, at 4 p.m. Central Time. It was a dark day in Dallas, November 63. So congratulations are in order going out to Mr. Bob Dylan, who has officially reached number one for the first time in his entire career. You heard me right. He is chart topping for the very first time with his new song, Murder Most Foul, which is weirdly enough his longest song. So there go all the analytics right out the door. And no, I'm not talking like Hot 100, number one. Uh, that's still the domain of artists like The Weeknd and Drake. Uh, no, this is number one in the Rock Digital Song Sales Chart, uh, which still makes it his first number one ever, so that's nothing to sniff at. And if you're asking yourself, well, how has he never gotten to number one before? In the 60s, he got really, really close. Uh, he was actually number two uh, with both like a Rolling Stone and Rainy Day Woman, number 12 and 35. So got really close, but you know, not the number one spot. Uh, weirdly enough, a couple of Dylan songs did reach number one, but they weren't done by Dylan himself. One of those songs, Peter, Paul, and Mary, with his take on, with their take on his song, Blowing in the Wind, and there was The Birds when they covered Mr. Tambourine Man. So congratulations, Bob Dylan, making it to number one. 
And that's today's music news. We'll be back with another installment, so you can like and follow us. You can be sure to catch that. And uh, listen to The Current on the radio, on your smart speaker, on our app, on our web stream. And click in the comments, let us know what music stories are meaningful to you right now. We're going to leave you today with a new song by the legendary Randy Newman. Just like The Current has, KPCC in Los Angeles has been reaching out to artists and public figures, sort of checking in with them during this time of crisis, and famed Angelino, Randy Newman, Mr. I Love L.A., responded with a few words of advice in song form. Stay away from me. Yeah, but keep your distance, please. Stay away from me. Words of love in times like these. I'm going to be with you 24 hours a day. A lot of people couldn't stand that, but you can. You'll be with me 24 hours a day.